Are you tired of dealing with pelvic pain, pressure, or heaviness? You've tried the Kegels and maybe they don't really help or they make things worse? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa and today we are going over five exercises to give you relief and get you feeling better. Go grab your mats and let's do this. All right, we're gonna get started on our sides today. If you happen to have a pillow, go ahead and grab that. And let's start on our left-hand side. So finding a comfortable position, gently bring those knees in towards your chest. If you wanna use your pillow for your head to rest, you can do that. We're gonna bring both arms straight out in front. We wanna make sure that this right hip, the top hip is facing the ceiling. We don't wanna see it roll back. Our goal is to really open up this mid back area. So as you take a gentle breath in, Think of gentle pinch of those knees together. Inhale, lift that top arm, reach back behind you. Hello, couch. <laughs> Maybe you turn your gaze to look to the side and then exhale, bring it back. Inhale, think open that chest, reach back behind you and then bring it back down. Good, and just keep following this pace. Keep that right hip facing the ceiling. The goal is working towards getting that right shoulder towards the ground. Again, it's a goal, it's a work in progress. We're getting there. And bring it back down, mine is so far away, but that's okay. I'm, I'm heading in that direction. This is a really important exercise because it opens up our mid back. Our mid back tends to get really tight and stiff if we're stressed, if we sit a lot, if we're on our computers or our devices. And what that does is it disrupts how we use our core system because of breathing. Nice, let's do this one more time. Nice, so open it up and then bring it back. And then let's just switch over to the other side. And I want you to compare the two sides. So gently bring those knees in towards your chest, pillow for your head or let it rest. And then we'll take that left arm, sweep that left arm up and back behind on your inhale. Left hip still facing the ceiling and then bring it back. Inhale, bring it up. How does it feel? Left to right side. Biggest thing is connecting your breath with our movements. What do you feel? Really being in tune with that body can be so helpful with our pelvic floor and core. Simple adjustments with our breathing and posture make all the difference. Nice, let's do two more on this side. Nice job. Last one. Nice work. And then gently pull yourself, come all the way up. We're gonna come up onto our knees. Next, we're gonna work on loosening up those inner thigh muscles. So we'll take our right leg, send your right leg straight out towards the side. Those feet wanna be facing forward. We're gonna bring our hands down towards the ground. The left toes can be curled underneath or they could be pointed. And you're just gonna gently rock. So send those hips back. Think of your tailbone lifting towards the sky. As you breathe in, think of those sit bones spreading apart. Gentle stretch along this inner thigh and then pull yourself, come forward. Send those hips back, nice gentle breath. We're not forcing anything. We're being gentle and using that breath. Come back up. Now, as we're moving throughout these exercises and our poses today, and if you're like, hmm, Melissa, I can't quite feel that connection with my breath, my pelvic floor. I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this right. Go ahead and check that link up there. I go into the missing link to our pelvic floor. It goes into so much more detail to really get this patterning and connection down. Nice, gentle breath, send it back. Pull yourself, come back up, nice work. You might start to notice the more we're doing this, you can ease back a little bit further. Nice job. So you send it back, those sit bones spread. Great job, we'll do one more time. Nice. Bring that right leg in. Left leg is gonna go out towards the side. Same thing, you might have to kind of adjust, sink those hips back. 
Now, if you need a little extra padding for that knee, feel free to put a pillow underneath. You could also do the same exercise standing and have your hands resting on the counter as you send your hips back. There's always ways to modify things that work best for your body. Now, how does your left side feel compared to your right side? What are you noticing? Gentle sink back and come back up. Nice work. Keep using your breath. Whew. My left side's always a little bit tighter. I always have to work a little bit more on that side. It's okay. I noticed that. <laughs> You're doing great. Let's do two more on this side. Just loosening up those inner thighs. They all attach into our pelvis and can really help loosen up that pelvic floor area. Nice job. Bring those legs back in and then we're gonna come back down onto our backs. And this is where if you have that pillow, I'm gonna have you go ahead and grab your pillow. You could also use a yoga block and we're gonna place it underneath our hips. And then we're just gonna bring the soles of our feet together and let your knees fall out towards the side. And I want you to bring your hands down to the bottom of your rib cage and we're focusing on our breath here. Inhale, the breath goes down. You'll feel a little bit of pressure, a little bit of opening, blossoming, because our diaphragm, our breathing muscle goes all the way down on our inhale. And then as we exhale, it lifts back up. But here we're just working on the relaxing piece, thinking of that lengthening. We're trying to minimize the amount of pressure in our abdomen, because when there is that increase in pressure, then that's what leads to things like leaks, pains, pressure, heaviness, prolapse, constipation, and more. So it all comes down to how you're using this core system and not just constantly squeezing and doing Kegels, because that squeezing can just make that pressure a little bit more. Nice job. This is one of my favorite exercises, especially if you are feeling the pressure or you just worked out, it's the end of the day, getting in just doing this one, pressing something underneath your hips, giving that pelvis a little break. You could also put another pillow or two underneath to lift the hips up a little more. Nice job. Let's take two more gentle breaths here. And we're gonna use our breath. We're gonna use a slightly longer exhale. We'll inhale for a count of four and exhale for five. Nice breath in. We have four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, gentle breath in, exhale, slowly let it go. And we'll bring those knees, maybe you help them a little bit, bring them back up. We're gonna keep that pillow or two pillows underneath us and we're gonna do a little abdominal core and pelvic floor work. So now we've worked on the system, worked on that lengthening, hips have been elevated. Now we're gonna tap into the strengthening piece. We wanna be careful we're not gripping and holding tight the entire time. It's this relationship of going down and back up. So we'll keep our hands at the bottom of our rib cage, nice gentle breath in. On your exhale, bring one knee in toward your chest and then tap it back down. Exhale, switch, bring the other knee in toward your chest and then back down. Now, as you're exhaling, you're blowing out candles or blowing out bubbles. The position of your head, your, your chest, your rib cage over your pelvis, all's really important in working in this core system. Nice work. Now you wanna feel that gentle zipping up pubic bone to belly button but we're not gripping the entire time. Exhale, inhale, we're lengthening. Exhale, hug it in. Now you can change this, make it a little more challenging just by changing the blowing out the candle and think of driving that knee in. Now, if this feels really good and you wanted to add on, you could bring both knees up and inhale, tap one leg down 
exhale, bring it in. Inhale, tap one down. Exhale, bring it in. Nice job. It all comes back to what you're feeling. Adjusting that breath or your position to make sure you can feel that a little more. And if not, you have to back that exercise down until you get that coordination down. Nice work. We'll just do a couple more here. Keeping the neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. We're breathing into that rib cage. Nice. One more after this. Nice. Place both feet back down on the ground. We're going to walk those heels in and just gently press the hips up. Take that pillow out from underneath. And the last exercise we're going to finish up with, oh, it's like one of my favorites. We're going to do legs up the wall. So if you happen to have an ottoman, a chair, a wall nearby, we're going to get your legs resting up. If you don't, you could always keep that pillow underneath you and bring those knees into the chest like this. If you've got something nearby, I'm going to scoot over here. I'm going to scoot my hips up as close as I can to the couch or you could use the wall and just swing them up. Let your legs get nice and heavy. If they fall out to the side, that's okay. Maybe you want to come back to that cobbler-ish type pose. This is just a position for you. Coming back to your breathing, nice gentle breaths in. Exhale, let it go. You could also always put a pillow under your hips in this position as well. It just gives that pelvic floor a little bit more of a break too. Nice job. Nice breath in. We're having the breath, that breathing muscle go all the way down to the pelvic floor. And exhale, come back up. Neck and shoulders stay nice and relaxed. I just want you to take a couple breaths here. Really check in. What are you feeling? What do you notice? We've opened up different parts of our body throughout our practice between our mid back, our hips, connecting with the core and pelvic floor muscles. It's this whole system that works together. And what do you notice has changed throughout these exercises? You might find one that's more helpful than the other. It could be a great one that you come back to throughout your day. Doesn't take long. Just one or two minutes with each of these could really make a big difference. Nice job. Let's take one more nice breath in here. Super slow with your exhale. Let it all out. If this is feeling really good, feel free to stay here a little bit longer. If you're ready to get on with your day, just slide those legs down the wall, maybe roll back onto your side. If the pillow is underneath, take that pillow out and just gently come back up. Finding a comfortable seated position. So consistency is key, not just while you're doing the exercises, but what you're doing throughout the day that might be increasing this pressure in your abdomen. If you're not quite sure and couldn't feel that connection, make sure you go ahead and check out the link here to find that missing link to your pelvic floor. And I'll also make sure to put lots of different resources for you down below in the description box. I'd love to know in the comments, what would you like to see a video on in the future? Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.